Okay, let's add an output to our robot. Let's make our robot send a signal to another machine or another robot when it gets to this last position in this pick and place routine. To do it, all we have to do is add another point after we add our output. For instance, let's say I want to use input output 13. I make sure I check this box and check value. Once I have those two boxes checked, I just record another position with the lock button and it throws another position in here. It doesn't matter what the position is. I'm going to delete it. I just use that to get this column called EIO 13. So now that I've got that column, I can delete that line and I have this column. In this column, since I want to turn on the output on this line of code, double click in the box. I'm going to make it say high because I want it to be high. And I also want to make that signal send for a length of time. So I'm going to change this pause to 0.25. What I'm also going to do because I want to turn that output off, I don't want to leave it on the whole time. I'm just going to copy and paste this step. Notice the arm's not going to move. It has the same positions. All it's going to do is turn on for high and then I'm going to make this go low and that'll turn off the signal going to the other machine. 